Uh, anyway, let's get into this Trevor Lawrence thing, Rob. We talked about it a lot last week. And, you know, let's go to Rob G to summarize it for us because um, there's some updates on it. But but take us back to what happened last week and then bring us up on the updates, Rob G. Well, last week he had this profile in Sports Illustrated where they talked about what motivates him. You know, he is the quote-unquote greatest What's prospect. my motivation? Greatest quarterback prospect is Andrew Luck. And – um if you're a, a diehard football fan, he said everything that you don't want to hear. He said, well, his dad said he's not one of those guys who's motivated by winning Super Bowls. His coach said, or his high school coach said that, um, you know, he could leave the game today and he'd be happy. He said himself, you know, I think it's unhealthy to play with a chip on your shoulder and always feel like you got to prove something. So a lot of people took that as a, a negative. While he heard the rumblings from people in media and, and he responded on Twitter. With a long thread, here's what he said, quote, It seems as if people are misreading my sentiment. I am internally motivated. I love football as much or more than anyone. It's a huge, all caps, priority in my life, obviously. I'm driven to be the best I can be and to maximize my, my potential and to win. I have a lot of confidence in my work ethic. I love to grind and to chase my goals. You can ask anyone who has been in my life. That being said, I am secure in who I am and what I believe. I don't need football to make me feel worthy as a person. I purely love the game and everything that comes with it. The work, the team, the ups and the downs. I'm a firm believer in the fact there is a plan for my life and I'm called to be the best I can be at whatever it is I'm doing. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. LOL. Bravo. I got no issues. Bravo. Rob, I actually like, and I had no problem. You know, we talked about it. We need, Neither one of us had a problem with what he said. In the sports Because he didn't say, article. Chris, like, oh, I'm not going to do watch film. I'm right. not going to go to team meetings. I, I, football bores me. I'm just doing this because it's a cash grab. If he said that stuff, I don't want right. the guy. That's Thank not you. what he said. He, he has a healthy outlook on life and on football. And, Rob, I loved his response. And this is the type – now, look, again, I'm not – down in the people who live and die with every snap of the football. Okay, some some people have to have that mentality to excel, and others can have a mentality like Trevor Lawrence. You have to find out what works for you. But, Rob, I think when I look at Trevor Lawrence saying, I don't, you know, I, football doesn't give me my self-worth and, and all of that, it tells me this is a guy that when he does have his failures, uh, when he does get criticized or whatever, it won't break him. He will he will be able to get it, put it behind him, and come back and march on toward fulfilling his goal. And I think that's important. A guy, some guys that, you know, if they they live and breathe it, every little slight in the media, every little criticism, every little struggle or setback on the field can really send them sprawling. And so I like his uh, mentality. I like that he said in the tweet that, you know, he explained it. Look, I work hard as anybody. I I'm driven, all you guys that. lost two but then games said, in his college career. What, what, what is the question about? I, I love his... when he said, Rob, that I, uh, but football doesn't define me. My, it doesn't define who I am him. as a person. Why, That's what why are people like. mad at him, Chris? Because he doesn't want to just be a football player, right? And and whether or not he wins or loses determines whether he's a good person or feels good about himself. Really? You know how it is. Some people, Rob, because fans, as you've said many times, is short for fanatic. Right. And some fans do. I mean, if their team loses, they're miserable. Not just that night. They're miserable all week, maybe all month, maybe all off season or whatever. And they want the players to feel that way. My thing is the player can't feel that way. I'm sorry. And, Rob, you know this. Yes, guys are driven. Some guys have been, you know, driven, I mean, with Magic or Bird or Jordan or LeBron or, or KD. When these guys have not won championships, I'm sure it, it, I know it drives them in the offseason. And that's fine. 
But it don't mean they don't go on and enjoy life. We know, they, Rob. They right? enjoy they, life. They, they go on vacation. <laughs> yes. They're doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, you, you don't stop living. Oh, yeah, let me see. LeBron loses the finals. So that means in his 17-year career, Chris, that uh, 13 years he went home after the season was over and barreled himself in, into the house, right. you know, and didn't go out and didn't see the sun because he was bummed out they lost the championship. Come on. Right. Come on. Now, that would be a great story, right, to write, oh, uh, he, he he didn't leave his room for a month. And right. I know after the, the loss to Dallas, he did spend, I think it was two weeks in his room. And I get that. That was an epic fail. It was his worst moment as an NBA player. Exactly. And he again, didn't play he, he well, came out and he it. had right. put the team together, Chris, and yes. it was a team that – that wasn't supposed to win. He thought he was going to get his championship. He really did. Absolutely. So he was devastated. And you remember even the comments afterwards, you guys go on with your little miserable lives or whatever. You know, <laughs> it like wasn't was, that bad. <laughs> I what think he said, go back to your regular lives. Or go something back to your like miserable that. lives. You're but see, I get that, Rob. Go I back. mean, come on. Let's, 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 let's keep was, it real. He was salty. Right. Planters on line one. Look, man, I don't know how, what was he, 25, maybe, 26 yeah, years old? Yeah, but you don't say that to the people I know, fans. but I look, man, I got to be honest. If When you take a pounding, and he was taking a pounding, <laughs> right, in the media, in on social media, I mean, he was getting crushed. I get it why sometimes you like, man, look, I, I got a great life. Y'all go back to y'all lives where y'all obsessed with me. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be all right. Like, you, sometimes you just got to say something to let people know what time it is. So, I, you know, I wasn't that mad at him. Um, but I get it why it was offensive to people. But, yeah, Rob, I, I love what Trevor Lawrence has said. Um, I It was on First Things First this morning. And Brandon Marshall, who obviously was a former wide receiver in the NFL, had a great career, he didn't like that Trevor Lawrence responded. He felt like it showed, I don't know if weakness is the word, that might be too strong, but he just was like, look, man, you can't enter the league worried about what other people are saying, what the media is saying. See, you just got to do got that you. football player mentality. Everybody's not the same. That's what they want, Chris. They want you to be nameless, faceless, and do what you're told. That's not where guys are today. That, that Brandon Marshall, I get that. That's that football mentality. You know it. You play football. You got to be a little crazy to play football, but yeah. everybody's not. Everybody's not that way, and so if he goes out, Chris, and balls out, nobody will care about that stuff. Seriously. No. Now, if he doesn't play well, then they'll say, "Oh, you see, we should have known right. that because he told us." Oh, you know us, this whatever. will come back on him. Right? There's that, no doubt, there's about, no doubt it. about it. Even Chris, though it may have nothing to do may, with it. Right. It may have nothing to do with what happened. And people will go back to that. It's the same thing. How many times have we seen people do the uh, Jessica Simpson, uh, Tony Romo, Tony when Romo. he was dating her? <laughs> oh, you know, he can't play. He threw that pick because he's always with Jessica Simpson. And, and Rob, they're rolling around in the hay all day. And he can't concentrate because she's Rob, in the owner's box. Kirk, Kirk Humphreys. Is that, was that his name? No. Kirk Humphreys? No, Chris Humphreys. Uh, Chris Humphreys. Chris Humphreys was going to be an all-star till he married the Kardashian, Kim. He was going to be great. <laughs> he ruined his career. No. No, I'm with you on that one. Uh, Rob, but I, I actually liked that he responded because I think, Rob, this enabled him to con – he took control of the narrative. And, and, and I get it. If people are out there misconstruing your words and making right. it – I don't. I got. I'm cool with a dude coming out and saying, "Hold up." He doesn't have to do it every time, and I'm sure he won't. But hold up, wait a minute. That is not what I meant. Check my resume. What was LeBron wear the shirt? Check my stats. You said it, Rob. I got two losses. I got two losses in college. You think I did that because I don't care about football? Thank you. Or I didn't play at a high level, Chris? Or I didn't study the film? That that's what I did. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. People need to stop. And they want to hear what they want to hear, Chris, to make them feel good. I, you, right. you, want, you really want that guy to sit there and tell you something, a fish story, so you feel good about him? <laughs> and, then when he, and then when he doesn't play well, what? Oh, it ain't that. It's just that he sucks. That's what you know right. what I mean? Right. Well, right. I, I don't get it.